Whoever recognizes me before men so the Son of Man will recognize him before the Father and the angels of God. But he who denies me will be denied, whoever blasphemes the Holy Spirit will not find God's forgiveness. Whoever denies the living action of the Holy Spirit who manifests himself in the Son of God will be disowned. This is why in this land of love Jesus that came down from heaven said to Maria Giuseppina, his maiden in a revelation that many well remember I impress in your heart my image so that you do not have to discover the deception too late. Here is the image that all of us have impressed in our hearts, the image of the infant Jesus, descended into this land of love so that it can be kept in our heart, not forgotten, set aside, but guarded. Entering the heart to live there forever as it happened that June 13th when the child Jesus came down from heaven and as the teller writes disappeared. He did not disappear, he entered that little heart. He entered that little girl's heart that opened her little heart and welcomed him, to safeguard him. That's why then Hurush saw only and only light, light, light. That light that pierced the darkness in that June 13th and that took possession of that little heart, of that little girl's heart. Of this maiden that we now live as a mother, spiritual mother. That mother who has regenerated us in an authentic and original faith that must lead us to keep our faith firm and alive in those fundamental principles of Christianity, that today many would like to make disappear, forget. This is what today as Christians we are all called to do, this is what this church born by the will of the Father wants to do. Here is the living action of the Holy Spirit, of the Consoler announced by Jesus who has descended here, who here animates this church to bring back everything and everyone to love Christ as the only primary good. Jesus had foretold this action of the Holy Spirit, the action of the Consoler, who at the appropriate time would have sent to make his children understand everything. Because at that time they would not have been able Jesus said to bear the weight of those revelations many things I would still have to tell and reveal to you but you are not yet able to bear the burden but when the Comforter will come, that I will send you, he will reveal everything to you the Comforter has always acted in history, the action of the Holy Spirit cannot be stopped at the time he descended on the Apostles, immediately after those words and then what happened the light went out, the Comforter stopped? Of course not. The Comforter has continued to act in history and now acts more than ever at this time where the Holy Spirit is the protagonist of the Christian recovery, at this time when the enemy of God has launched his most formidable attack on Christianity. Here is the Father in his infinite merciful grace does not abandon his children and even more manifests his action by sending here in this land of love his Son, the infant Jesus, the Holy Spirit to prepare hearts for final fulfillment. Here is what we are living, and this is what we must transmit to all those who want to remain Christians, who want to continue to live Christianity as the only asset to defend, to preserve, in order to defend and all that the Lord has taught us, the Christian doctrine that is summed up in one word, Christ. We must defend Christ and his sacrifice, which cannot be sold off, which cannot be mixed with what does not come from the Father's heart, with other religious beliefs. The Father sent Christ so that all believe in Christ. Not to mix Christ with Islam, with Judaism. Judaism has passed. There is no longer a covenant with that house because the Father has made it new with the Christians, just as the Father renewed it again with this house. 